Giadiva Harja Agus Falter Arashko Irish with Rosie. This video is going to be a little different from my other videos because it's going to be purely a book review video. So it's a brand new year. What better time than now to take our language learning to a whole nother level and make a few informed purchases on some good Irish books. So if you've been looking for some good Irish language resources, this is definitely a video you're going to want to watch. Alright, so I'm really excited to share my books with y'all because I love my Irish book collection. I think one of the biggest mistakes, actually, that I made in my language learning was holding out a little bit too long on getting books. I am a notorious penny pincher, and so I don't like spending money on things that I don't think I need. So, for a long time, I was like, I don't need books. I've got Duolingo. I found all these great online resources and stuff. I'm good. But I finally caved and I bought a couple of books. I was so glad I did because my progress really skyrocketed. And I've added since then to my book collection. First of all, none of this is an ad and I'm not being compensated in any way to advertise any of these books to y'all. It's just me and my opinions. Now, mostly I'm not going to go in any particular order, except that I have my books grouped into three general categories. I'm going to start out with um, books that are for learning the language overall and learning to have conversations. And then I'm going to go to grammar books, and then I'm going to cover dialect specific books like books that'll help you to learn more about certain dialects of Irish. And, I've got my notes here with me so I don't forget to tell you all anything, but I have a few things to keep in mind first. So some of the books that I'll share with y'all are available on Amazon, and I'll have all of them linked down below, but others are only available on online Irish bookshops, actually from Ireland. And yes, with those you'll have to pay like international shipping, um, but as long as you buy at least two, if not three, books that you were going to get anyway from that bookshop at once in one order, you can save a lot in shipping in the end. And it took me way too long to realize that, but I finally did. And I'm all about the penny pension. In the links below, I'll link every shop that any particular book is available from, at least at the time of me making this video. That way you can compare prices and shipping rates for yourself and make the purchase that's right for you. And also if you go to one bookshop and maybe they're out of stock, then you can just go to the next link and see if they have it. Now when you buy from Amazon, just be careful and do your due diligence even for the links I've provided because I'm not necessarily endorsing any certain seller. Um, I've seen before a few times that people can link a certain individual product on Amazon but if someone has already bought that and that seller is out of stock, then Amazon will like still have the product available, but they'll put up a new seller and have the link lead to that. And it's not necessarily something I endorsed. It might lead to a used book, whereas I linked to a new book. So just check, make sure it's new, or if it's used, you read the seller's reviews and make sure it's someone you trust. Now, one more thing before we start. Here's my stance on dictionaries. I do not own a dictionary. Um, that's just because there are awesome dictionaries online, um, including with pronunciation, audio files, and everything. Changlin.ie and Folklore.ie. If those ever become unavailable, I guess I'll buy a dictionary. But until then, I'm dictionary free. Okay, now let's get started. And first ones I have are the Buntus. Kancha series, which means rudiments or foundation of speech. These are some of my favorite books. I absolutely love them. Of course, there's three in the set. Part one, part two, part three. They're all about that thick. The layout of these, super practical, super useful, um, and they're really cute. So I like to call them my McGuffey readers because the layout reminds me kind of the, the classic American school book readers, McGuffey readers. Um, there are 60 lessons in each book, and it's all laid out about the same. Look, it comes with cute little cartoons. Each lesson has some new vocabulary, words and phrases, 
and then example sentences of their use. And the cartoons are more than just cute. They come in handy in showing like what's happening with each sentence so you can kind of understand how the words are used. Some more example sentences below and then you get to do like a sample conversation story over here. And that's what each lesson is like. Each book comes with two CDs, real Irish speakers narrating each lesson. The speakers speak with a Connacht accent. There's not any grammar that's explicitly taught, but you find yourself learning grammar intuitively because of like how the information is presented. There's also a really great user-made memorize.com course, which I'll link down below. That's a great accompaniment to these books because someone actually took the time to put all or most of the words and phrases from these books into like memorized course game slash flashcard form along with um, audio sound bites from the CDs. So that just helps reinforce the concepts. I wouldn't recommend doing that instead of getting the books, but it's a great addition. I definitely give these five stars. I think they're kind of a staple. And if you've never bought an Irish language book before, I don't think it could go wrong with these as potentially a first purchase. Next, we've got my favorite overall Irish language learning books of all time. And they are the Gaelic Gun Stroh books, which means Irish without hassle. These are like the end all and be all, in my opinion, of available Irish language learning books. They are so good. They have beginner level and the one that I just put down, lower intermediate level. Um, they're beautiful. It's like they're so well done. The inside looks like this. There's all kinds of different sections. Now, they used to come with CDs, just like the Buntus Cancha books, but they've converted the format now, and they come with an access code in the front cover of the book. And you can go to rangana.com, put in your access code, and then listen to right on the website and or download the audio files to your computer or device. In the beginner book, every section is narrated. Um, speakers of all three dialects are featured. In the lower intermediate level, only the conversations are narrated and the end of unit reviews are. These books are centered on learning to have conversation in Irish, but there are also grammar sections, vocabulary sections, exercises, useful phrases. And before I move on, speaking of exercises, that's one key um, that I've found that's really helped me like up my Irish game is to make myself do the exercises. Not in just these books, but in any of them. Some books, like the Gaelic Gonstros, have blanks in the exercises where you can like fill in the word you're supposed to fill in. But I really don't like writing in my books, so I do everything in a separate notebook. But some people like to write in their books. And that's okay too. Um, I bought mine off of Amazon. Um, the books themselves were more expensive, especially the intermediate one, off Amazon than they were from Ireland. But I thought, uh, I don't want to spend the shipping money, so I bought them from Amazon. But later I was curious and I like calculated the shipping and it turns out that at least at that time it would have been slightly cheaper for me to actually pay the shipping and get them from Ireland than to have gotten them from Amazon. But you can look for yourself and see what the best deal is for you and where you live and where you're getting it from. Without a doubt, I give these five stars. If the scale went higher, I'd give them more than five stars. I love them. Next, we have Speak Irish No. This is a pretty good book. I like it. Now, I think it's a tiny bit misleading, just in fact, in the fact that it's like this huge, thick book. And you think, wow, how great. But the pages, a lot of the paper is actually kind of empty on some of the pages and the font is really big. So it's not quite as thick of a book as you think it is, but it's still really good. 
It takes a conversational approach, just like the Gaelic Gunstro. It does not compare, <laughs> but it's good. It'll teach you all the basics. It doesn't have any audio files or anything, but it has written pronunciations that are pretty accurate inside. Also, I think the first like 14 lessons come with accompanying YouTube videos, which I'll link below. I would definitely put this firmly in the beginner category, but I think even for like a lower intermediate level, it's still good for brush up on some concepts and for a review. It's definitely not the best book I have, but it's pretty solid and I give it three stars. Okay, the last book in this category is Irish Sentence Builders. This is one of the best purchases I've made. It almost doesn't belong in this category. It's almost like a category of its own because it's a very structural approach of like how to form sentences, which I really like. Each uh, chapter, um, this is 90% exercises, by the way. Each chapter has like a new conversation topic. For example, um, talking about family members, saying their age, and if you get along well with them, which seems pretty basic. And when you first get it, if you're anywhere beyond like a very beginner level, you might be tempted to be like, oh, this is baby stuff, I already know all this. And sure, a lot of the vocabulary is very elementary, but that kind of frees your mind up in a way to focus more on like structure and getting used to and really proficient in um, forming Irish sentences. It says it's for beginner to pre-intermediate. From what I know, I would definitely agree with that. But anyway, I didn't realize until I started using this book just how lacking my sentence forming ability was. At least my ability to form sentences quickly and instinctively on the fly. But since I've been using this book, it's really improved. Now part of the key um, to using this book in a way that works is to do all the exercises even if it starts to feel repetitive, in my opinion. It has all kinds of different exercises too. It's got reading exercises, spot the error exercises, correct the spelling, translate, fill in the blank. So it repeats a lot of the information, but it tries to mix it up with what kind of exercises you do so it doesn't feel too repetitive and it stays fun. So I definitely recommend this. I give it five stars. Now the answers to all the drills are in a separate book that you have to pay for separately but it's only about nine or ten dollars so it's not that much extra and it's definitely worth it to know if you were right or not <laughs>
at all. It references genitive plurals in the section on adjectives and says like, see the chapter on nouns for more, but there's nothing about it actually in there. So that's my one big complaint about this book, but I really, really like it. It's thorough, well-worded, four stars. And this next book is also very comparable to the last two. Um, it's called Irish Grammar Book by Nalak McConaughey. I think I'm saying that right. And it's a good all-around grammar book. It covers all the basics. Now, I don't think it goes into as much detail uh, about a lot of the topics as the other two books do, but I feel like it gives more examples on usage of the simple prepositions than the other two do. And also longer lists of example nouns for each noun class and example verbs for each uh, verb conjugation. It comes with a lot of neat stuff in the back, like idioms, blessings, farewells, greetings, prefixes, counties of Ireland, days of the week, all kinds of stuff like that, which I think is pretty neat. Also, it's a very neat looking book. I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera, but the main text is written in black and all examples are given in red text, which I think is something kind of unique and I like it. So this one also, I give four stars. Oh, and this one does not come with exercises. So if that matters to you, no exercises in this one, no exercises in this one, yes exercises in this one. <laughs> All three of those I think are comparable. They're each four stars in my opinion. I think uh, there's some parts of each of them that have an advantage over the other, but you can't go wrong with any of them. Or all of them, maybe you want to buy them all. They're pretty cheap. Um, I think they're all about the same price, if I remember right. So if you're looking for a good first grammar book, I think any of these would be a good choice. Next we have A Grammar of Modern Irish by Paul O'Murhu. It's not as reader friendly, in my opinion, as the last three. Like with the last three, I can sit down and I can read them from cover to cover and enjoy myself and understand what I'm reading. I feel like this one uh, is meant for linguists a little bit more or people who already have some kind of understanding of the Irish language. It's definitely a reference grammar rather than like, in my opinion, a read it from cover to cover grammar. There have been several occasions where I couldn't find an answer to something in any other book or online resource, but I found it in here. So it's definitely very thorough. Now this book is based off of like traditional grammar um, instead of the official, the new official standard grammar, the Kaijin Afagul. So I've run into a couple little things in here that conflict with the Kaijin, but nothing too major. And I think it's a really good resource to have probably just on your bookshelf in your home um, for when you need to look certain things up. I give it four stars. Next we have Basic Irish, a Grammar and Workbook by Nancy Stinson. This is a really good purchase. Of course, this is a grammar book, just like the other books, but I feel like it goes into more detail about the structure of the language than the previous three books do. This one also has exercises. So my only complaint about this book is in the section on the formation of present tense regular verbs. She gives a non-standard uh, formation for first conjugation verbs that end in a broad vowel plus I-G-H. I believe the example she gave was the verb brewy, and she conjugated it as bruin with an A-N-N -N ending. And I'm sure that's correct, and I'm sure that that's like completely valid, but it does differ from standard Irish. And it would have been nice if she had at least um, stated that in the book. So the standard Irish ending for that would just be in, in, and it would be bruin instead of bruin. But that's about the only thing negative at all I have to say about this book. Um, then there's Intermediate Irish by the same author. Got all the same good qualities about this book. It just continues and picks up on slightly more advanced concepts. Also has some really great exercises. I give each of these four stars, definitely good resources. Also, by the same author, Nancy Stinson, is 
Modern Irish, a comprehensive grammar. One of the best purchases I've made. Now, it's not a good price, in my opinion. It's like $65. This is not a $65 book. I think that's a really, really ridiculous price, but I'm still glad that I bought it. Again, it goes into depth a lot more than most other uh, grammar books about the structure of the language and explains it in a really simple way that really clicked with my brain and now I can kind of grasp certain concepts that I wasn't so sure of before. It's a distinctly different book from these, but since it is the same author, there are similarities. It's a bit as if these two books were combined into one, the exercises removed, and a little bit more information added. There are a few examples in this book that are repeats from the previous two books, and there's some repeated wording in the introduction of a few chapters. But other than that, it's a completely different book. Now, the only complaint I have, besides the price on this book, is the fact that, like, look at the cover. It's gonna make you feel like you're the greasiest person on planet Earth. Like, it shows finger grease. Even if you just wash your hands, it's gonna look gross by the end of the day. The cover is almost like a suede sort of feeling cover. Plus, it's really dark, so that combined, it just like shows grease. It's definitely not a tabletop book. But you can get some lightly spritzed, like 409 on a cloth or a paper towel and clean it, it doesn't hurt it at all, and it'll make it look like new again. But still, come on. And again in this book, she gives that same non-standard present tense formation for the broad vowel plus I-G-H, first conjugation verbs. But with all that being said, I still give it five stars just because it really does what no other book does, in my opinion, that I've come across in explaining concepts of the language in depth in a really reader-friendly way. Last in the grammar section, we have Grammadach Gonstro. This is part of the Gaelic Gonstro series, and it just focuses on grammar. Now, the only thing about this book is it's written completely in Irish, but it's written in very simple Irish. And I was kind of surprised that I'm able to read most of it without any help. Now on each page, there's usually a few words that I'll have to look up. Occasionally a whole sentence that I don't understand and I'll have to put it through Google Translate. It usually comes out very understandable. And then I know what he's saying and I've learned something. But I'm sure there are some people who are more advanced than me and they have even less problem reading this. If you're barely starting out, I wouldn't recommend getting this book yet unless you're willing to literally Google Translate every line in here. But if you're anywhere from like a pre-intermediate level up, I would say you shouldn't have too much trouble with this book. And just like the other Gaelic Gunstro books, it's just wonderful on the inside. I love it. And it's got exercises. Everything's worded really great. I give it five stars. Now, last we have the category of dialect books. You know, as you may know, there are three main dialects in Irish. Ulster in the north, Connacht in the middle, and then Munster to the very south. There used to be a fourth dialect, Leinster to the east, but it mostly died out. But I think there's a little bit of a revival, but for the most part, there's just three dialects now. So these are all going to be books that will help you a little bit in specializing and studying more about any certain dialect that you might like. So first we have these books. They are the Unchanga Vio series. There's three of them and if you're only interested mostly in one dialect then you only need to get one book. There's one book per each of the three main dialects. There's the Ulster book. It's blue. Then we've got the uh, Connacht book is gray and the Munster book is green. And they're all written in Irish, but again, it's pretty simple Irish. And each um, point in the book is relatively short and can be easily translated on Google Translate and then copying and pasting it into notes and just kind of translating 
either the whole thing or the parts that you really want to know about. Or maybe you just already read Irish pretty good and you don't need to do that. Um, the examples are really good. They speak for themselves a lot of times. Uh, each book will cover things like pronunciation, word stress, vocabulary, conjugation, different things like that. Basically everything you need to know that's unique about that particular dialect. Next we have this book called Speaking Irish. It's a book that's out of print and I got mine used for a pretty good price, but there are some I saw that were being sold used for like $120 or something. Dear God, don't buy it for that. It's not that great. It's not worth that, <laughs> but it is pretty good. It comes with a DVD, 120 minutes long, of native speakers in different dialects speaking the language, being interviewed about random things. In the book, it has the script of the interview and then points out various things about the interview that you might want to notice, like different idioms or vocabulary word choices that might be unique to that person's dialect. So it kind of helps with that, and there's a few exercises per segment too, which I like. I'm glad I got it. I haven't used it as much as my other books. I've just been busy with my other books, so I'm sure this deserves more love than I've given it, but I like it. I give it three stars. Okay, the next book I have for y'all is called Fuamana Negevige, and it means Sounds of Irish. And it's exactly what it advertises. It basically goes through each of the three dialects and talks about and breaks down the sounds unique to those dialects. This book, unlike the Unchangavyo books, um, is written for linguists. Like, you have to be familiar with IPA, a uh, pronunciation system, um, like whatever a back vowel is, like that kind of thing. I am not a linguist. I'm not familiar with a lot of these things, so I haven't used this book much yet. This book is also written in Irish, so you gotta be prepared to like look stuff up and translate bits of it if you don't speak it fluently, which I don't, so I have to translate a lot of this. It comes with like this really neat chart. I don't understand a lot of it because again, I'm not a linguist, but it's a chart of the different sounds and consonants and vowels. So it's pretty neat. I'm glad I got it. I'm sure later I'll be even gladder that I have it. But for now, I gave it three stars. Next, we have this book called Tashka Fockel and it's a collection of short stories and the title means a treasure of words now this book is especially useful if you're interested in the ulster dialect like i am it comes with a cd of native ulster speakers narrating each story but certain idioms and new vocabulary and stuff are in blueprint I'm not sure if you can tell the difference between the black and the blue right there but they're highlighted in blueprint, and then down below, it gives you the English meaning of like that idiom. So it's good for practicing your reading skills and for learning new vocabulary and idioms. The back even has some information about things that are unique to Donegal Irish, so that's pretty neat. And I really love the narration along with it, especially since they're native Donegal speakers, which is something that I really want to listen to more of. Okay, last we have Wagner's Linguistic Atlas and Survey of Irish Dialects. And there's different volumes for each of the regions. I happen to have volume four, which is the Ulster region version, along with a little bit of Scottish Gaelic in here. So basically this guy, Wagner, Heinrich Wagner, I think, he went and interviewed different native speakers in each region of Ireland, way back when, I'm not sure when, and he carefully wrote down um, the pronunciation of words, how they said it in each region. And that's basically what this book is, is just a collection of those words and their pronunciations. It's not exactly user-friendly, and it took me a little bit to figure out how to use it, but I did eventually figure it out. It's mostly IPA pronunciations in here. It's not strictly IPA, but it's close enough where you can pretty much figure out what they're getting at. 
The actual pronunciation guide is in the first volume of the book. So if you really want that, you have to buy the first volume too. You can pretty much figure out the pronunciation just by going by IPA. I don't think it's like a sit down and read it book, although I have read several sections, just read them through to get familiar with each region of Ulster, and that can be kind of fun. But mostly I use it for reference if I'm not sure of the exact pronunciation of a certain word or a certain like vowel combination. I'll try to find examples in here and then look at that in different subregions of Ulster and see if I can kind of like come to a consensus on how something is said. I definitely give it four stars just because uh, it has some unique information that you can't find anywhere else and it's pretty useful. So if I were to put together like an essentials kit, either for yourself or maybe as a gift for a loved one, I would definitely include Buntus Cancha, Irish Sentence Builders. Also, at least one of these three grammar books, which I'll link down below. And of course, the Gaelic Gonstro books, which again, I think are absolutely outstanding. So there you have it. Hope this video was helpful. I'll have all the books linked below and I hope that at least some of them will enhance or begin your own Irish book collection. My next video will be on online resources and apps, so be looking out for that. Also, follow me on my Instagram, which I'll link below for more regular Irish content. Thanks again for watching. Slán